name is Kavita Sharma. Today I'm going to talk about organization types. Um, the topic are taken from the book called Pass PMP in 21 Days Study Guide. This is the book which you can buy from Amazon or if you want to read online, you can read online at Apple or Google or Kindle Books. So let's get started. Today's agenda is um, we're going to be talking about organization types, different organization types, projectized functional metrics, um, composite we're going to understand and we're going to apply the concept. We would um, look at let's play and see how much have you learned so far. If you walk on a corridor and you see people in Bermudas, um, chit chatting in the cafeteria or you're gonna see people in very smart casuals going for meeting does that change the way you engage with people communicate with people uh, definitely it does so the kind of um, organization you work with definitely impacts the way you engage with people the way you get your work done so when I look beyond projects a project is always part of some component within the portfolio. Now these portfolio managers, the bigger guys under which the projects are going on to achieve a strategic objective, um, the portfolio managers have a lot of other things to think about. Uh, they need to look at what are their portfolio comprised of, are the, is the major focus on operations or on projects are there any mixed initiatives which are going on which uses both projects as well as operations? Think about, you know, rolling out of 5G. Think about a big telecom operator who are running the 4G operations as well as new initiatives are going on, new campaigns are running and so on. So this portfolio manager has a lot of things going on in his mind or her mind. Um, there are concerns like resource planning, how do I manage resources, how do I forecast resources, what kind of environment do I give to my team members, do I want to have focus on projects or operations or skill set. So all of that, um, let them decide, all of that drive them towards selecting a different type of structure for people to report into. And that leads us to some of the organization types which we're going to be talking about. Uh, for example, projectized organization. Very, very simple. Let's talk about it. What happens here? Um, this is very simplified structure of a projectized organization. We have the portfolio manager or a bigger guy and under that there are project managers. Um, the staff reports to project managers directly the project coordination happens between this particular um, quadrant. Now, what is happening here? Projects are what? Projects are temporary in nature. They, after some point of time, a project starts and a project ends. So, after some point of time, this project is going to get closed. If this project is going to get closed, what's going to happen? Where would you go as a project manager? Where would this staff go? So in these kind of organization type, there would be different projects which your sales organization gonna get. And the problem is you might get different type of project. You get a different domain, a banking, insurance, or you get different technological project. You get different type of project like BPO or uh, process optimization or uh, technical optimization and things like that. So what happens here is this staff which goes out has to go ahead. There is no home. You cannot stay in this particular hierarchy all the time because the project going to get closed. You are going to move out and whom do you report into? Now once you move out, do you report, start reporting into this project manager or this project manager or where? So in projectized organization, we emphasize most on PMO, you might know the name called RMG Resource Management Group, which is part of the PMO. So you as a project manager or your team after the project gets over, get stationed here. We also know it with the name of bench. So after the project gets over, people go to bench, get reskilled and get absorbed to newer project. 
so what happens here in this case no home one project manager and people become generic in nature because their skill set keep on changing based on the kind of project you work on let's talk about functional organization what happens here in functional organization i as a portfolio manager going to make an organization called functional so that there is most of the emphasis on the functions the emphasis is on running day to day operations so the um, functions are like you know um, location area head in case we're talking about 5g 4g rollouts so there would be location heads of certain areas who would keep that particular location up and live you might have other functions like networking function engineering function and so on um people going to be working with one function so in case you are a engineer you become junior engineer after some point of time senior engineer and so on you would always have a home you going to grow in this hierarchy as a as a person who get inducted in this particular stream or a function what happens when there is a project which gets kick started here if a project going to get started in a functional organization there is no provision to help the project accelerate so what happens here when a project going to get started the project going to get started under a functional manager the functional manager going to do the coordination amongst other functional manager and they might have helpers somebody as a coordinator going to help the functional manager to write down the notes to coordinate and so on this guy would have least amount of authority no authority to do anything himself um all the work all the thought process all the decision going to be taken by this particular guy now um what would happen in case there are problems with the operations and there is new project which going to take the priority in case this guy is responsible for the project as well as operation and there is a problem in operation his kpa key responsibilities is to ensure that operation runs smoothly so all the work going to get remained on the project side and he or she going to go run and ensure that operations run smoothly so projects take a back seat in functional organization how many bosses are there in functional organization all the time one staff going to report into one boss so you would have a flavor that there is only one boss in the functional organization let's do a comparison of functional vis-a-vis projectized organization both has pros and cons um in the functional organization you're going to have specialized resource people have a growth path so this is a positive team would always have a home positive and projects take a setback with respect to project there is not much emphasis on the project because the emphasis is on the operations let's look at the projectized way of working or projectized organization the negative is that people become generic the skill set become generic over a period of time because there is no home so there is no home that is also a problem because you would always be moving around project um, because the projects are temporary in nature and but the positive is project is the highest priority so that's good about projectized now some of the uh, people some of the portfolio manager said i want to do uh, my portfolio requires people to do projects as well as operations so, and i want to ensure that the the people are uh, people do have a home people should learn and they become specialized resources and projects should also take priority so i want to have that kind of a structure and they came out with the matrix organization now there are three flavors to it weak balanced and strong i'm going to talk about them in the next slides so stay with me so let's talk about weak matrix organization now in weak matrix it's more skewed towards functional organization we still have functions here because we want to have have a home for people so any matrix organization going to have a home which means there is going to be functions 
um, there is a role called project coordinator within a function who would now be responsible to do certain tasks you know he or she can call for a meeting the coordination can happen here but most of the decisions gonna be done by this every metrics organization people would be reporting in two two bosses at least two bosses the balanced metrics organization you get a designation called project manager you would have functions and once people are allocated to project these people can be directly managed by the project manager the project manager takes care of the project and operation manager take care of the operations the uh, responsibilities are balanced once the resources are allocated to the project manager strong metrics organization now if i look at the previous uh, metrics organization they the project manager is one guy if he or she wants to grow in project management stream a uh, project management competency there is no growth for him or her the, the growth is only on the skills wherever this guy is based at organizations realized it and they said why don't we have a skill which is project skills and we should you know give a home for planners or we give a home for project management so a function called project management function you would know it with the name of planning function or management function or any other name as per your organization now here a project manager is inducted as probably coordinator and then they are groomed to managers senior managers and so on the um, project coordination once a project manager is there they can take the staff from others and then form a team um, because there is a home uh, the, the, the coordination is amongst the project manager if you look at the difference between balanced and strong metrics is you gonna have a key difference called project management as a competency so you would have um, a keyword called a specialization of project managers um, or a division or a function of project managers so that is strong metrics organization uh, project manager takes care of the project and functional managers take care of the resources let me put things in context um, if I look at any um, any context any scenario in the PMP exam one thing by which you can look at which kind of organization is described is by looking at project managers authority a project manager would have highest authority in projectized organization as the arrow suggest and it would have least authority in functional organization um, the authority would increase from weak to balanced and to strong metrics organization so that's some something which you might be looking at the other thing which you probably gonna be looking at how many managers are there um, so in functional managers a person gonna report to how many people one one person in case of projectized only one person because a person is allocated to full time to one project um, here again in case of metrics organization you would have a person reporting in two two or many bosses so whenever we say metrics organization the team members reports to a functional manager as well as the project manager some of the organization ha are more complex they do work within themselves the project is getting coordinated within the uh, portfolio there are team members who are part of other projects outside the portfolio and so on so uh, outside the functions as well so how do you go about doing that kind of uh, coordination so some of the organization probably would have a composite structure or a composite organization structure the um, what is the meaning of composite mix and match 
so you would have project coordination you would have functions you might have a strong metrics here so this um, coordination for a project is going on and you might have projects within a particular function itself and the project coordination is going on internally there might be other projects which are going on from externally like this so this is like mix and match you can't say it is you know strong metrics organization or it is only a functional organization it's a composite organization let's do a recap um, so organization structure the kind of organization i work with is it eef or an opa you guys know what is eef eef is enterprise environmental factor opa is organization process assets um, so which one is this think about it i'm gonna come back to it later you would have functional and projectized Functional is one boss, project is projectize is one boss, metrics is two or more bosses. Um, in functional, least authority to the project manager. In projectize, most authority. And in metrics, you would have weak, balanced, and strong. Um, an organization wherein the project coordination can happen in different way, possible ways, which which showcase metrics as well as functional organization between their between their portfolios is called a composite organization so let's see how much you have gained um, we gonna be doing let's play quizzes what you need to do is uh, find out which organization type is represented in this scenario there is an interv interviewer who is asking questions so just look at how and what are the keywords and then see um, see the organization type so let's get started so this is the first scenario we're looking for an end-to-end -end program lead you would be responsible to work with finance sales and marketing department you also need to work with some specialists to ensure a better architecture. Remember, these people will be working in their respective teams and should be busy with their respective work. The trick is to get your work done on time. Are you up to it? Now, how many bosses are there for team members? Think about it. What are the keywords which you get? Respective teams, busy with their respective work, but you need to get the work done as well if you are a project manager so how many people how many bosses they gonna be working with the team members they would have functions we are talking about functions here and we talking about projects as well so which kind of organization is this it is not functional because people are gonna be working with you as well is it projectized? They are working with their respective functions, so not projectized. It's a metrics organization. You got it right. Let's look at the second scenario. We have a very difficult client that can behave in an abrupt way. We need a project manager who can understand the business context, client requirement, and can deliver as per the organization framework. We need people who can think and deliver. The team will report to you and you would be responsible for the project outcome. It's a big responsibility. Are you up to it? Now look at the keywords. The team will report to you and you would be responsible for the project outcome and no one else. So how many bosses are there? There is just one boss, you. Um, and you have big responsibility. You are the project manager. So people are reporting into you which can is it metrics organization no is it functional organization no you have a lot of responsibility so it is projectized organization you got it right let's look at interview scenario three there have been some pressure from us stakeholders to look at alternate energy resources everyone at the department is fully occupied with work and hence we need someone who could help us to accelerate working on this new initiative i need you to take notes in the meeting all the decisions will be taken by the functional heads so in case of doubt talk to him okay so are how many people are there in this particular um, 
scenario you would have a functional head and you would have yourself you are taking notes and that's it all the decisions will be taken by the functional head so you get one of the keywords here so is it metrics organization probably is it projectized organization definitely not is it functional organization you are just taking notes here and it does not say that there are two bosses so this is a functional organization and that's it because um, in case there are no mention of many bosses just go ahead and select functional or projectized the last one I need someone dynamic who can multitask. We have some great success in one home automation project named Mali. Currently half of the team is busy in fulfillment and customer care. We are also developing low cost variants of Mali and that may require your expertise. I need you to be part of as many initiatives as possible. Can you do it? Now, um, here it's been not told whether you are a project manager or a team member. However, you get one keyword that you would be part of many initiatives. Now, when you are part of many initiatives, that means there are project managers for those initiatives or if you are managing many multiple projects. So that means these people are going to be reporting into you and they are also responsible for customer care and other stuff. So it is definitely not functional. It is definitely not projectized because there are two bosses which is being allocation is to multiple projects. So it is a matrix organization. That's it from me on the organization type. In case you have more questions, um, in case you think um, you need to read more on this topic, you can buy the book PMP Study Guide from Amazon or read it at Apple Books. Um, if you have more questions, you can write to me at kavita at kavitasharma.net. If you want to be part of my workshop, please log in to kavitasharma.net and uh, talk to me thank you and have a very nice day i'll talk to you soon bye bye